Good morning. Today's lesson is 3.5. Absolute value. Our essential question, how can you find and interpret the absolute value of rational numbers? The absolute value of a number in the numbers is the number's distance from zero on the number line. The absolute value of negative 3 is 3. So simply you're looking at the zero, whatever the distance is from the number line, whether it's negative or whether it's positive, is its absolute value. So the absolute value of negative 3 is written symbolically like this. Unlock the problem. In 1934, a cargo ship called the Mohican sank off the coast of Florida. Divers today can visit the ship at an elevation of negative 32 feet. Use the number line to find the absolute value of negative 32. Graph negative 32 and its absolute value. So if I'm going to graph negative 32, so there's 30. It's going to be in about right here because that's 40, 30. This is probably 35, so it's going to be closer to the 30. Think the distance from the zero point that I graphed is 32 units. So the absolute value of 32, negative 32, is 32. The depth of a diver is of a diver is her distance below the sea level. Because the depth represents a distance, it is never a negative number. Find the depth of the diver visiting the Mohican and explain how her depth is related to the ship's elevation of negative 32 feet. Well, the diver is at a depth of 32 feet. The diver's depth is the absolute value of the ship's elevation. Explain how the expression negative 32 relates to the diver's depth. Well, the diver's depth is the distance from the sea level to negative 32, which equals the absolute value of 32. So if I were doing the absolute value of negative 1, it would be 1. If I was doing the absolute value of 1, it would be 1, because it's simply just the distance from 0. If I had negative 736 absolute value would be 736. If I had negative 5, the absolute value would be 5. If I had positive 5, the absolute value of it would be 5, because it's simply the distance of the number related to the zero, how far away it is. You can find the absolute values of decimals, fractions, and other rational numbers just as you found the absolute value of integers. Example, a food scientist tests a new dog food on five dogs. Each dog's weight was monitored during the course of the test. The results are shown in the table. Positive values indicate weight gains in pounds. Negative values indicate weight losses in pounds. Graph the weight changes on the number line and then find their absolute values. So buck was three quarters. So three quarters. So here's one. It's going to be in between the one and the zero. I'd say that's about one quarter, two quarter, three quarters. So there's Buck's weight. And then Goldie is negative five eighths, so that's going to be this way. And again, it's going to be between the zero and the eight. So I think to myself, five eighths is close to four eighths, which is half. So if I'm looking at this, this is half, right? Five eighths is going to be just a little bit more, so I'm going to graph it right there, and that's going to be Goldie. And then. Um, mackerel is negative 1 and 7 sixteenths, so here's negative 1, and then 7 sixteenths. Again, 7 is about half of 16, 8 really is, so I'm going to take my halfway in between mark, and 7 um, is going to be a little bit, or a little bit less, so I'm going to put it right there. That's going to be my mackerel. Paloma is 2 and 1 eighth, so that's two holes, and it's going to be 1 eighth. It's going to be closer to the 1, so I'm going to put it right there. And finally, spike is negative 3 eighths, so again, it's going to be in between the 0 and the 1. It's almost to the half point, but a little less. I'm going to put it right here, and that's going to be set. So think, the distance between 0 and the point graphed. So here's my 0, and the point graphed. Well, negative 5 eighths, it's 5 eighths away from the 0. Negative 1 and 7 eighths is 1 and 7 sixteenths away from the 0, just this direction, right? 2 and 1 eighth is 2 and 1 eighth away from the 0, but it's going this direction, right? And negative 3 eighths is 3 eighths away from the 0. Interpret a result. Explain how absolute values of positive and negative weight changes relate to the starting weights of the dogs. Well, the absolute value of a negative weight change represents the losses from the starting weights, and the absolute values of the positive weight changes represents the gains from the starting weight. Example two, find all the in integers with the absolute value of seven. 
Think the distance from zero to integers with an absolute value of seven is seven units, right? So that's gonna be right here, is gonna be seven away from the zero. And then negative seven is also gonna be seven away from the zero. So seven is seven away and negative seven is seven away. So both seven and negative seven have an absolute value of seven. Use counterexamples. Paula says that there are always two numbers that have given absolute value. Is she correct? Explain. No. Only one number has an absolute value of zero, and that's zero. Okay, let's do a few more. Find the absolute value. So, negative two, if I graph it on the number line, here's my zero. Negative two is two spaces this way, so the absolute value of it is two because it is two units away from zero. So the absolute value of negative two is two. Six is six spaces away from zero, so the absolute value is going to be zero. Negative five is five away from zero, so it's going to be five, and so on and so forth. Do the rest on your own or with a partner, and I'm always available for you as well. Good luck.